Welcome back, one and all, to the PC Master Race, oh, I'm sorry, uh, PC Build. We're going to go ahead and set up the next phase, which is the heart of the system, the motherboard. Yippee skippy. All right. So, we're going to go ahead, Jasmine's going to go ahead and unveil this sexy, sexy oh. motherboard. All right. Check that out. All right. So now, we're going to go ahead majority of the system here and go ahead and add the CPU and the uh, hey, CPU and <laughs> it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, actually, this is probably a good opportunity to very quickly show a couple things that we have on the board. Uh, obviously, socket uh, 1151, typical, this is a KV Lake board and we have two it does support a uh, AMD Crossfire. It is not an SLI board since it's never going to happen with this case. But it does support two uh, two graphic cards. It uh, will not get one at the moment, but it has headroom. There is an M.2 uh, drive. We are not using one again for ease of upgradability for the other person that's going to use this for because it's a uh, it is a mini ATX. It does have four slots. I wanted to make sure there was plenty of headroom for uh, upgradability. And uh, let's see what else we have here. Obviously two additional PCIe 1X uh, slots that we're going to use. One for Wi-Fi. There's plenty of other stuff. The see if you can see no, it. No, that was seen better with me. And that's all right. I just wanted to show the. Uh, Serial ATA we have. It supports uh, Serial ATA and Express, although nobody uses Express. Uh, and it has plenty of them. We're only going to use three. It's full chip. So this particular motherboard is essentially um, chipset. It's mostly chipset. There isn't any additional chipsets on this board to give you additional stuff. There just wasn't any need. So obviously we have plenty of uh, Plenty of USB 3 and uh, DisplayPort, HDMI, VGA for some reason, and DVI-D, USB 2, and of course the HD audio and one very high speed Intel uh, LAN. So uh, basically this is a well-rounded, mostly, like I said, chipset based. So, all right. That's enough of that. Let's move on. Let's keep going. And Jasmine's going to open up the socket and pull the... Oh, that's fine. not the socket. Let's <laughs> pull this uh, up right here. Let me know if you're uh, you're going to need to slip your... No. Actually, so you don't break your nail. Let me do that. <laughs> Girls' nails are important. There you go. All right. And we'll need to take the plastic cover off. That little plastic oh. guy here. Sorry. I'm pushing on you. All right. So... Essentially, uh, we're going to go ahead, while she's doing that, I'm going to grab the memory. Oh, this thing? Yeah, the plastic cover. How do you pull that thing off? Oh, there's a little, like, thing. Oops. A little thing. You just kind of hold that and pull it. Oh. Or just pop it off like a fool. We're professionals here, can't you tell? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I just love this memory. The heat sinks on these things are great. They never get hot, but um, there's one thing to say. That, uh, look at that. That's beautiful. Point, the days of ugly memory are long gone, aren't they? They even come with LEDs, but we didn't have it because there is no window in here. All right. Uh, here. Noxua. Gotta love Noxua and their ugly fans. I don't think there's anybody that actually likes their fans. Okay, and we probably are going to need the extension. Okay. I never use these little things. Oh. Okay. All, right. All right. Let's get this out of the way. I believe we'll need these screws. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's get this started. Um, silver. This is uh, you know maybe a little overkill, but uh, I do like using it for the uh, 
longevity. Okay, um, Jasmine is now going to install our Core i3 Katie Lake beautiful processor in here. I was perusing the board while we were looking away and uh, just so she's... You need to seat it down in there. Locating, yeah. I think. Alright, so to be really clear, I don't know if you can see it from this angle. Let's zoom in real quick so you can see. Um, I'm going to forgive some of the grain. You notice the triangle that uh, it was perfectly visible and it... You, no, I don't. You moved Sorry. It. That's all right. There you go. So you notice the triangle where it, where it's seated down in here. It um. See my finger here. The lining up of the pin one. It doesn't really let you put it in the wrong way, but it's always good to just make sure you're putting it in the right way. All right. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and seat that down in there. Looks Sorry. <laughs> playing around. Uh, go ahead and snap that guy in there. Actually, I'll tell you what. Why don't I do it? Because again, it's like a nails thing. I don't want you to mess up your nails because it does get hard to put that. There we go. It's. I don't want her to break her nails. Okay. Um, <laughs> nails. Oh, well, nails. still. Okay, so um, now the moment of truth. John, con, con, con. We're going to go ahead and put the uh, cooler on there. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to want to do, let me see, what's the best way, where is our system fan, where is our CPI, okay, kind of, kind of looking for where the fan connection is, so I want this to kind of line up in a way so that it's not hard, we could put it like this and actually give it a little bit of space, how about that, what do you think, so it kind of comes up like this, that's fine, yeah, yeah, it's a little, Alright, go for it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm trying to look at the best way. Yeah, see, I don't want it that way. I'm thinking like this. And this comes up like this. There you go. Yeah, yeah, so it kind of, you know. What do you think? You like? This? What do you think? What do you think, folks? Oh dear, we've got this in the hands. Okay. <laughs> so Alrighty, so we're going to do that when we grab the screws. Yeah, the sunny hands. So I guess this does come with some thermal paste. Just like Intel will give you a cheap cooler. Again, you know, this is intended for a little bit bigger builds. This is an H. 270. So being the 270 series, you could put a 7700 in here. Technically a 7700K, you just can't overclock it. And yes, Noxua does give you this stuff. Um, it works, but uh, I, I do like having a little bit more, well, I guess, headroom again. You know, a little bit better with the Arctic Silver. Again, it's probably overkill. Miss Jasmine, do you want to do the honors? No, oh, please do. You go for it. The only thing I want to have my assistant help me with. And again, people will say, oh, PC Master Race, going to do this wrong. Oh, you put too much. Oh, you put too much. Oh, you're supposed to do a crisscross. Oh, you're supposed to draw a smiley face emoji and sign your name in Japanese. No, sorry. You know what? Oh, you're just going to get some. So you can't put too much, even if it comes off. You could put so much paste on this thing that it just spills over the socket and it won't cause a problem other than just be a mess. So seriously, you could do no, no problems with the, uh, actually this is kind of a two person. Could you help? Oh sure, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to grab one. We did this a few times. And we didn't manage to spread off. Yeah. 
this is much easier with two people. Sorry, I know this is a little off screen, but this is much, much easier. I'm not quite on the... Oh, yeah, this is why you can record. It's all right. I'm sorry if this is hard to see, guys. Okay, Miss Jasmine is going to take it around. Sort of like Miss Jackson. Miss Jasmine. Miss Jackson. Well, I can turn it around because... So turn it around and go ahead and... Screw this in. Can you uh, do the honors? Can I? Can you hold it? Mm -hmm. Here. Make this easy. I don't know why this is like the nervous period. Because this. of the footy. It's like, oh no, it's a CPU. You don't have to tighten it too much. Go for it. We're gonna blow it up. Ah! Cool, man. There we go. Doop a doo. Oop, that one could use a little more. Doop a doo. Yay! Yes. There. And we managed to plug it in. Beautiful. Even though it's ugly. Alrighty. I seriously do not understand why they feel so compelled to make these ugly. It's just there's something with their brand. They, I did some research just because it's like, seriously, what is the deal with the color of this freaking fan? And it just has something to do with they wanted to look earthy. No idea why. Okay. We're going to do memory. Memory. So, Miss Jasmine's going to install the memory, and just a real quick explanation for those that don't know. If you're wondering, and you can truly see this, I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see. You'll notice that there are different colors, and this is not here for decoration. This is actually here to give you an indication as to where you're supposed to plug the uh, first channel and the second channel. Now, Sky Lake and KV Lake are, we don't have four of them, so I'm going to go ahead and show where we're going to put this, in fact. Sky Lake and KV Lake are dual channel. And this is not Sky Lake X or KV Lake X or even Broadwell E. Those are all in the enthusiast levels that have four channel memory. What that means is it reads memory in pairs you'll notice that they are color-coded. This is not for decoration, but to tell you where each channel should be plugged in. So in this case, we have two channels to memory. We're plugging in two of these, and we're going to, it's the other way. I know that it's nice on camera that way. <laughs> so you're gonna plug it into the gray slots, one at a time. The way the chipset works is it reads these memory these memory sticks, uh, and you press down, and it should uh, snap into place. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. So I need there we go. No. Ta-da! And you plug it in here. The, it reads these memory in one shot. Basically, both of them get read at the same time. In the enthusiast levels, you get uh, four-channel memory, which means it reads four sticks at the same time. That can tell you how much how much better that is. So there you go. Both of them in there. I'm off camera. How silly is that? Du -du 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 you can't see, you can't see, can't see. Oh well. Let me put it down where it was because you can actually see better. <laughs> Didn't make it better, I made it worse. There you go. So we skipped the black memory channel and put it in the gray because that is channel one and channel two. It is labeled on the board one and two. One All right. And two. All right. There we go. We have the memory CPU and the cooler installed. Yay! Now it's time to uh, place this motherboard into the case and we will finish the build. And on that note guys, we'll be right back. I'm going to place everything under so you don't see things banging around and hear lots of noise. So we'll see you in just a little bit. Until then folks, until then.